from the Journal of Aphromos Long Journey. Program. With notes by Avos Tour, scholar of Reeve Library. Tresday, 20th cycle, 7th year, 81st turn. 57th day in the trees. We remain in the cave. I believe that Torn will be ready to move soon. It is fortunate that his break was not worse. So long as he does not move his arm too much, he should be fine. Until then, I will be carrying both of our packs. Torn argued with me, but I held firm. He must take care not to hurt that arm further. In the meantime, I have caught several rabbits that came too close to the cave. Suja caught her own dinner, an animal like a rat, but three times the size of any rat I have ever seen. She is spending several hours a day gone. Where does she go? I keep asking myself if she will return the next time. Note, a capybara, perhaps. I must confess, I have never been very good at identifying the metasized rodents. She is currently laying in the crook of my arm. She has grown so much. She is nearly the size of her mother now. She has traveled with me for seven cycles now. A short time for a burrow, but for a cat? She is nearly grown, I think. Torn says that she will be leaving us soon. It is hard for me to bear that thought. I do not want her to leave. I wish for her to stay with us, where we may protect her, where I can enjoy her company. But that is not fair to her, is it? She must leave us at some point. She is a friend, and not merely a pet. It was a mistake to try to take her mother for a pet. I now see. She was a wild thing, and I was meddling in things I knew nothing about. Many people take wild things and make them tame. Horses, elephants, goats, sarlifins. They have success with it. But it is still a serious business. It is not right to do it lightly, as I tried to. I did not know what I was doing. Martap paid the price. Suja's mother paid the price. I will not make the same mistake with Suja. I will not try to make her tame. She must leave soon, and I will not stop her.